Hello guys, uh, today we're going to be cooking some uh, beef short ribs. I got three slabs here. I took out a lot of the fat already. I've got it in this bag already. Um, also took out the uh, membrane in the back and I saved a little piece. A lot of people don't like to remove them off of beef ribs for some reason. I mean obviously there's not a whole lot of meat on the back side of it. But still a tough piece, uh, a tough membrane to chew through if you wanted to. You know, to bite through the rib or whatever, eat the little pieces of meat on the side. So I, I went ahead and took that, uh, took this off uh, to make it a little easier to eat and to hopefully get some of the rub um, uh, through the bottom side of this meat. Got a good layer of fat as well. A lot of this will um, cook down. So simple process, guys. Again, I left some of the, the, the fat on purpose so they don't dry out on me because I will be cooking them for uh, probably five hours, uh, three hours um, at 250 degrees uh, uncovered then one hour covered, and then I'll go ahead and, and uh, finish them off uh, one hour uncovered. So, Who's that? sorry about that, you guys had an incoming call. But uh, simple rub, guys, I've got uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Uh, so I got some paprika, a little bit of chili powder in here as well, and a few other little spices. I'm gonna uh, just rub it down with the Worcestershire sauce, and um, I'm just gonna do one real quick, uh, show you guys how I do this. Again, I really love the, the flavor of this, and it will help the, uh, the rub stick as well. So just a light coating, not too much, okay? So you can get your, uh, I'm using a, a, what, I, a, a, what I use on brisket. It's a brisket rub. Um, it's similar. The meat is very similar to your to your brisket and put enough I mean this is a big piece of meat and again these are really meaty or ribs too so get enough of your rub on there don't forget the sides and I don't like to to rub they do call it a rub a lot of people rub it in but I think it clumps up on you if you do that so I just I just pat it pat it on there side and also get the back side of it a little bit. Some of the rub will penetrate so put enough of that rub on there. It's not going to hurt anything. A lot of pepper in this rub. Pick up some really good smoke flavor. I'll take a look at these ribs, guys. Look at how thick and meaty these things are. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and rub these other ones down. Uh, again, I'm gonna warm up my smoker at about 250 degrees and put them on for three hours and um, one hour covered and then one hour uncovered. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, my uh, smoker is up to temperature. <laughs> Look at how meaty these ribs are. So, leave them on. Um, I will be spritzing probably every hour or so, but I'm gonna leave them on for about three hours and we'll come back. All right, guys, so it's been about um, two hours. Oops, two hours now. They're looking pretty good still not the color I'm looking for um, so I'm just gonna spritz with a little bit of uh, beef broth picking up some really nice color but I, I still think that uh, I want to get a better better bark if you will we're starting to get some nice pullback but it'll pull a lot more. I mean, this meat will be in the center of, of the bones. So, I'm gonna give it about another hour. We're gonna actually crank the temperature up. 
I had lowered it to 225 to get some smoke, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and increase it to 250. And then about another hour, and then I will be wrapping it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so it's been three hours now. the color I was looking for getting some nice pullback so I'm just going to go ahead and, and wrap these and I'm using that peach butcher paper just wrap them nice and tight just like so and I'm going to put it back on the smoker here peach uh, butcher paper. I'm not, I'm not trying to steam these. I'm going to cook them for five hours. So that's that's plenty of time to uh, make sure they're uh, cooked 100%. Look at this thing. Have a look at the meat on this rib, on these ribs here. So, again, just a simple wrap. That's what, they, that's what they look like when I uh, wrap them. I'm going to smoke them at uh, 250, temperatures at 250 right now for about an hour. Then I will take them out of the paper and let them smoke uncovered for another hour. So total, total cook time is going to be uh, one hour or five hours, I'm sorry. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So it's been four hours total cook time. So again, it stays nice and juicy in the uh, paper. You can see the juice is running out. another hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz. Again, this is just uh, plain beef broth. Spritz are really good. These things are juicy, guys. So, I'm going to spritz. I'm going to put a little bit more of my rub on there. Yeah. 
just like so. Come back, spritz again. Okay, get the uh, get my rub a little wet there. So about one, one more hour, I crank the temperature up to 260. So one more hour at 260, you're going to get a nice pullback. Oh, I can't wait. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So the total cook time right now has been five and a half hours. And, oh, man. Just using the toothpick. as a, Again, I'm not going by any internal temperature or anything. Man, that goes in like, like butter. So these things are ready. So I'm going to take them off. I'm going to cover them in foil for about 30 minutes. And then I will show you what they look like once I, once I slice into them. But I want to give you guys a close-up of these monster ribs here. And these are short ribs, okay? So look at how meaty these things are. This is got to be at least a couple inches again the juice is running out of them so stay tuned guys all right guys so the total cook time right now has been five and a half hours and oh man just using the toothpick as a again I'm not going by any internal temperature or anything but man that goes in like, like butter so these things are ready. So I'm going to take them off. I'm going to cover them in foil for about 30 minutes. And then I will show you what they look like once I, once I slice into them. But I want to give you guys a close-up of these monster ribs here. And these are short ribs, okay? So look at how meaty these things are. This has got to be at least a couple inches. Again, the juice is running out of them. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so pull the ribs off. Again, they cooked them for five and a half hours. And I uh, got a lot of smoke on them. I spritzed them with uh, beef broth every hour or so. And uh, they have been resting for about an hour, so they're ready to, ready to slice. And again, these are some monster ribs, guys. So I expect to see a lot of meat on this. This bone here. Look at this, nice and juicy still. I mean, it's, these things look amazing. So hope you guys uh, liked the video. I mean, look at this, it just almost just shreds right off. So uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and share my channel if you would. Thanks again for watching guys. See ya.